Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally showing a sketchbook tour. It feels like a million years since I've done it, but I'm super happy with this baby and I really can't wait to show you guys what I've got in here. Before we get into it, I do want to talk about the sketchbook a bit because I always get questions. It is a Lectum, Lectrum 1917 sketchbook in this like really cool teal color. It's got really nice quality paper. Like it will bleed if it's a Copic, but it's not too bad. It's actually pretty stiff and durable. It's got this little ribbony thing. It's got a really good strong elastic and in the back there's also a nice pocket for all of your little thingies. So I really enjoyed this sketchbook and it's a really nice size too so I enjoyed it the whole way through. Anyway let's get into it. This first page is full of stickers that I got from the illustration major seniors when they had their like portfolio night along with some candies that I got from Chinatown. I like putting letters and cards in my sketchbooks. This was the age up meme, which if you go on my Instagram or my Tumblr, you can actually like bother to read the text. This was my YouTube schedule that like completely fell apart as it normally does. I don't know why I bother with them. I sketch in a, um, it's called a Prismacolor Very Thin colored pencil. So my lines are always like really pale. I'm sorry if you can't see my sketches too well. This is just like a tracker that I got from the bullet journal world and these are some like candy box designs kind of ish. Just some sketches. This is a letter from my friend who was in China at the time. A good way to cover up the ugly page. Lots of like random notes and thumbnails and things, kind of the ugly stuff also goes in my sketchbooks too. This sketch was me deliberately trying to get into the fall spirit. Like I'm a summer person. I don't really like fall that much. It took me a while this year to kind of get into it. I was thinking of like mobiles, like mobiles, the things that go above babies' heads. You know, lots of doodling. My God, I'm the worst student in any liberal arts class. This was for um, a tunnel book that I ended up doing in my book arts class. Again, if you see it on my other social media, you'll, you'll see it but I had to plan the layers, hence why each thing is in a different color. Never get enough of those storefronts. Yep, lots of doodles. This was me like trying to figure out what I was gonna do for Inktober and like frantically trying to narrow down the list, which eventually came into this spices and scents list. And we're going to actually get into the Inktober stage pretty soon with some logo designs. So this is the first one, and for those of you who actually followed my Inktober process, you'll know that this is like the odd one out because I didn't know what I was doing at first, and then eventually I came to understand what like the theme really was. So I used um, these Hoo Hoo colored pencils and my Pentel uh, brush pen for all of these illustrations, and the idea was kind of like using spices and scents. Um, in addition with like containers, I guess. I don't know how to describe it, but just kind of like taking their essence and putting it into something else and like showing it in a way that we don't normally see spices. So this is what came from that and I'm really happy with it and how it came out. Um, I hope that I can do like a zine or something with them, but honestly guys, this is, this is like my weak point. I don't know how to like sell things. <laughs> so, We'll see what happens with that, but these are the illustrations so far. Inktober was a lot of fun and I do kind of miss it now that the challenge is over, but at the time there were quite a few weekends where I was like, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> and I understand why so many people fail it because it's just like, it's so challenging. Anyway, so this is the last one and now we're here. This was like, I needed some notes. It was like a brochure on study abroad so I had to like keep that somewhere. I actually can sleep very easily. I sleep a little bit too much but I needed to cover up this like really soft pencil and this was just like found on the floor so I was like oh why not I'll take it. Again lots and lots of scribbling. Some of my pages are like gorgeous and then others are like this or it's just like oh who knows who knows what she's trying to say. This was a portrait show that I still have to go to and this was the Boston Art Book Fair which I went to and I lost so much money. It was really, really cool and I got so much artwork from it. This is a map, if you can see. It's a map of how to get from Tower to Kennedy, which are two buildings in MassArt. 
And as you can see right now, it's just like in the super developmental stage, but I'll post online somewhere of the, of the final product. Just lots of scribbles. I think in my other sketchbooks, I don't show that stuff as much, but this one for sure. This one, so after Inktober, like I kind of got into black and white a lot more. Usually when I do things, I tend to go like full whole hog color, but for once I actually got interested in black and white and that's where this illustration came out of. And then I liked that one so much that the pretty much the rest of the sketchbook is all that. So, you know, I got sketches and I, oh God, I have to fix this thing. Cause like these things look cool, but this doesn't look right. I have to figure that out. Anyway, so I just kind of kept on going with the theme and then I created this like monster character. I call him the little monster and he's reading a little love note and he's really cute. I have some band-aid designs and there's a little monster getting hair cut and there's a little sheep and the little monster's getting a face mask and the little monster's drinking some cocoa. I love the little monster. And this is when I had a bad day. So the little monster is sad and the little monster is very angry. <laughs> <laughs> very like relaxing little little sketches um yeah and then like this is like the last page of the sketchbook i was just like i gotta finish this i have a youtube video to do so this is like the, the brochure from mice with all the artist names and i'll find the good ones and pull them out later and yeah i always finish off with just kind of like a page of everything that's happened and i have a whole bunch of like candy wrappers <laughs> in there and that is the sketchbook. I started this on August 20th, and then I finished this November 5th. So that is the sketchbook. And guess what? I have another one that I've already started. And that is ta -da! this sketchbook. So this one I'm really, really excited about because it's actually a stamp book and it's accordion bound. So I'm super pumped about this one, but you're just gonna have to wait until the next sketchbook tour. But yeah, these are my babies. And moving on from the old to the new. If you wanna see more of my artwork and actually see specific pages in this sketchbook, I would recommend that you go check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and Tumblr. That's where I post most of my artwork and more exclusive content than you see on here. You can also check out my Redbubble if you wanna buy something, that'd be cool. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!